far as making a solo record, my first one, I've been in bands. Um, I was first in a band called Lifter Polar, then I was in a band called The Hold Steady. And we, you know, we've, I've done 10 or so records with the two bands. And I, I kind of, I turned 40 last summer and I was like, maybe it's time to do something alone. A man talking a doorway, so he's here to share the good news. The Hold Steady um, generally writes the music and I only write the lyrics and that. So there's kind of a relationship there where it's pretty clear. And I've been writing all these songs that kind of weren't right for the Hold Steady. They're a little more narrative, maybe a little um, quieter, a little more spacious. I kind of had these rough ideas in the song and I called the producer, um, Mike McCarthy, who works down in Austin, Texas, and played him some of the music and he said, come on down, and, and really quickly it was happening. I met the musicians on Monday morning and by Friday night we had 14 songs. So we were moving pretty quickly and I, I, it really made me feel like Capturing that first bit of enthusiasm, that first bit of creativity, um, is really important. The sort of American thing, the American, the American experience, is something I'm interested in. And as I get to go more places, it's almost it becomes more interesting to me. I really enjoy being in Austin. You know, everything's bigger in Texas, right? It's these big signs, and everyone's driving big trucks, and it's extremely American. And, you know, so as you get to travel a lot, you get sort of maybe perspective. I'm like, wow, what, what is unusual about us or what's different about us? And, um, that's something I continue to be interested in exploring. Hotter than hell in the bark at the moon Certain things they get really hard to do You're living in a rancid room. Religion is definitely a part of my songwriting. I was raised Catholic and um, I still go to church sometimes, not all the time. But uh, um, I think about, you know, Christ and the cross, like what I, 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 I kind of keep going back there when I think of the idea of struggle. And topics like forgiveness and redemption are really beautiful things I find in the church. So those are other things that kind of always keep going back, back to. You know, there's problems. There's things about the church that don't excite me or, or don't interest me or, or sometimes even offend me. But there, I, I, I continue, things like forgiveness and redemption are areas I can still go to and find beauty. Jackson was an actor, at least he was when he was well. Stephanie was good to me, but not so much to herself. I've always been interested in characters, you know, like, like that everyone, you know, in my mind is born with original sin. Everyone has you know, good, a, bright, a light side and a dark side. If I want to write a song, rather than pick up a pen and paper, sometimes I'll pick up a book and just wait till I get to a part where like, hey, I felt kind of like that too, or there's something in there that, 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 that inspires me. And I'm, I'm always reading, I'm always kind of getting ideas back from books, and I'll write things down in my notebook, and then I'll go back and look at it, it might inspire something. So there's always kind of this, um, back and forth with books. Um, and so that's why I think the writers always show up and, and, and the characters show up in, in my songs. I think one of the things I really wanted to do was become a better musician. And one of the ways that you're able to do that is by playing with different people. And so after eight years of the Hold Steady, it was nice to take just a little break, play with people, especially people you don't even know, and um, get out of your comfort zone a little bit. And then, um, you know, come back and bring bring whatever experience, whatever you learn that, back to the band. Mm -hmm.